right, I'm doing a presentation on uh, chainsaw carving. Uh, it's just something that one of my neighbors kind of dared me to do with his tree stump. It was one of those spur of the moment things, and I said I'd do it, and he didn't believe me. And I guess he took his family to breakfast, he came back, and I had carved an eagle out of this. Um, but basically, uh, uh, you're going to need a chainsaw, preferably with a 16 inch bar, something about this long. You don't want to cut too deep into a tree, I mean, because you're not going to have a really big stump the first time you do something. A lot of people do squirrels and like rabbits or something the first time, because they're really easy to do. There's not a whole lot of features to them, and you can do it out of a smaller block of wood. But preferably, you're going to want it still stuck in the ground, so that it still has the stress, it can handle the stresses. And um, sharp blade and the sharpener, I actually snapped the blade while I was cutting into this. That's not fun. It hit me in the leg. It did cut me. Um, when spinning around at 20,000 RPMs and it comes off that bar, it's smooth. And pretty good. Um, blade gets dull pretty often. Uh, in two hours, I sharpened the blade 15 times. So they chew through blades quite a bit, especially when you have a round nose uh, blade instead of a pointed nose. It, it chews through them pretty quick. Uh, knee pads, I should have had one. I didn't. That's why I got cut. Uh, Chest armor didn't have that on, but I didn't have a problem. Uh, safety glasses definitely, because if you're using a steel chainsaw, it throws wood chips at your face and they hurt. Uh, you don't want those in your eyes. It hurts a lot. Uh, hearing protection definitely. Two stroke chainsaws make a lot of noise and your ears will be ringing even if you have ear protection on. Thanks. Uh, in order to do this, you kind of have to, a lot of people like to go off the pictures. I don't. I vision things in my head, and then as I'm doing it, I kind of chip away at it until I get it to what I want it to be. So you have to be able to look at something and say, this is what it's going to be, and do it. So you have to kind of have a vision for it. Um, it's not easy by any means. Uh, you know, you see these guys on TV, they just hack it out in 10 minutes. It's not that easy, uh, especially this thing was about this tall, and you know you have to start out and you have to just make little cuts at a time. You can't make big, huge cuts. You got to start out. You got to kind of make it really absurdly large and just kind of shrink it down until it fits what you're doing. Um, you make it as big as you can out of the pieces you can, and then you just make it smaller until you get it to the size you want. You work on the minute details later. So. You're going to start really rough, like I was saying. It's going to be, it's going to look pretty hokey until you get down to the last steps. Just right angles because it's a chainsaw. You can't cut curves with a chainsaw unless you're going on the outside of something and coming into it. You can't cut curves, and that's very hard because the blade's about as wide as your hand, and it has a blade on either side of it. So you're trying to cut like it's not going to turn. It doesn't do that. <clears throat> Okay, it's not going to be perfect. It never will be with a chainsaw. You can get it close, but you're out, you're going to need a chisel, a sander, that kind of stuff. I didn't use one, but that's not even my finished product. My finished product is actually on Facebook. I don't have that picture on there, I don't think. But it actually turned out really nice for what I thought it was. But I mean, you got to have a certain amount of pride after you work on something for two hours. It's only going to get so good, and you got to know when to stop. Actually, that's the finished product. <laughs> um, you got to work it out slow. You can't just say, well, this is square. I want to make it round and just try and do it one cut because you will fuck it up. I guarantee it. <laughs> hey, well, what? I missed that. I had to drop it up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll screw it up and then you're going to hate yourself because getting chunks of wood that big is actually very expensive. Last time I checked a uh, log like that, um, a very specific type of wood that you would generally use. It's like a thousand dollars. I got it for free. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you said the wood is a thousand. Yeah, just just a stump like that stump like out of a particular type of wood. That's not even the right kind of wood really? to carve out of because it likes to split. The kind of wood that you want is a nice dry log because if it's not dry when it dries out, it tries to shrink and it'll split and then it looks like. Um, next one. Yeah, I was saying earlier, you gotta know when to stop. Uh, you can actually see in that last picture, 
when I was cutting out the feet in it, I actually took the chainsaw blade and went straight through the foot. So there's a hole in the bottom. I wasn't that, I wasn't that happy about that. So after that, I kind of knew it was time to stop. Mm -hmm. So the next one. Go back. Can you go back to that one of the right there? How did you do the face with the beak like that? That must be actually. Difficult. I actually climbed up on the wings and stood on either side of the wings and then just took and cut it like this. And then since my blade was small enough, I kind of just put it on its side and just kind of worked it okay. until I got it to curve over. It's actually got the hook point, and you can actually see right here is where I put the chainsaw blade mm -hmm. like because I was trying to make it rounder and I went at an angle like this and when I hit it. The top half of the blade, because the blade spin around this way, tried to grab it, just went whoop, right through there. Yeah, pretty much. Any I would also recommend when you get a chainsaw, if you're going to use a chainsaw, get one with a brake on it. If you get one that doesn't have a brake, it has a guard on the front. Right. So you have the, the bar that comes up around the top that you grab a hold of, and it has a, a guard on the front. So when it, you catch a hold of something and it kicks up, it goes like this, and that plate comes up and hits your hand and clicks down, locks the blade and stops it hits. So you could take that and you could put it like down here cutting on something. If there was a kick up, it would hit that break and by the time it went this far, that blade would be stopped if it hit your leg it would be touching. Very good. Any other questions? Was your, your neighbor's tree stump? Yeah. What was their reaction when they got home? They got home and he's like, Jesus, I can't believe it looks like that. <laughs> he's like, I didn't even think it would look anything like this. Two hours? Two hours. It took me two hours. We started at at 8 o'clock in the morning, we cut down the tree, and uh, I cut it off really high because I didn't want it to hit the road when I came down. And he's like, you should carve something out of that. And I was like, you think so? He's like, yeah, said, all right, I'll do it. I said, you going to go get gas? He's like, sure, I'll get gas on the way to the breakfast. He said, I said, I'll be done by the time you get back. He said, we have whole family out there. And he came back and he looked at me. Like, Whoa, that's cool. And now actually, uh, his dad, I went up to the Tomahawk Fall Ride for a uh, you know, fireman's benefit. And I went up there and they have a place up there and I said, hey, I got an idea. I got this eagle. I still have it. So we can throw a Harley jacket on it, screw it to the <laughs> screw it to the eagle, and then carve out of the bottom half of the stump that it's the, the Gilman's place. Okay. And it would be like your your biker stump. He said, well, how are we going to keep people from stealing this? You take a hole saw, drill a hole in the middle, bottom about this big around. Put a pipe in the ground about three feet down, cement it, and run a dowel through the bottom of it, and it can't pull it out of Very nice. Any other questions? You're good. Yeah.